Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to CodeSignal, we're on Python coding exercises. If you're joining this in the playlist, I'll put a link in the description below so you can start from the beginning if you wish. Otherwise, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm going to the arcade, then I'm going to Python. And then we were in the section here, Caravan of Collections. Number 45, Transpose Dictionary. You're implementing a plugin for your favorite code editor. This plugin launches various scripts depending on the open file extension. Each script is associated with exactly one extension, and the information about which script should, should be launched for each extension, extension is stored in a dictionary uh, script by extension. You're planning to add more supported extensions for some scripts, so now you would like to also to store information about the extensions which each script supports. As your starting point, you'd like to obtain the extension extension script pairs from the dictionary stored lexiconographically, uh, which is alphabetically by the extensions, implement a function that will do the job. All right, so you're given a dictionary object here, script by extension. You see it's got uh, different uh, keys and value pairs. And what it wants you to do is instead change that into a list that's sorted alphabetically. So JSON and generate outputs here, MD and get limits. You'll also see that these are swapped, the order of these. So instead of being key and then value, they're, they're changing the value and then putting the key. All right, so how would you do that in code? Um, so here we've got one line to do it. So we're gonna use the sorted function to make sure that it's sorted at the end here. And then we're gonna use a list comprehension. So you can see we've got two brackets. So there's this inner list inside of this outer list. And then we're gonna do a for loop uh, with two variables at, in script by extension dot items. So what dot items does is it gives you the key and the value for each item in that dictionary. And then you can see we just swap the order of these. So we get X and Y, and we put it in the Y, X order into the list. All right, so there you go. That works. Hopefully you guys are able to follow along with that, and you'll join me for future videos. Thank you very much.